And the other thing I want you to go over um, is what we call superposition principle. It's a, that is easier to illustrate with the, the um, with the reflections. So let me have some kind of an end here, so that we can have a reflection that we can play with. Um, he says a kind of a boundary condition that makes it reflect this way. And when this reflects from here, it'll now flip over. Uh, this gives me the, I think this is the, the setup I used in the recording of video and it gives me the most flexibility. So what I want to do is, okay, so that's like I generated a pulse. And what I'm going to do is as that's reaching the end, I'm going to generate a second pulse. And let's see what they do. And so here's an interesting question to ask. What happens when these two pulses uh, collide? What, what happens with they, when they meet each other? What happens when they overlap? And when you let it run, it's the question. Hmm. Not quite clear what you just saw. You saw one big ball, a bulge, and then it separated again. Did they reflect off each other? What just happened there? Let's have it run again for a little bit. Now that reflects up and down, so we can do something more interesting. Let's see what happens now. Uh, so these two are going to come together again, and we'll see. Mm. What does it look like happen? Oh, I guess it's a rhetorical question, kind of, unless you want to answer it. <laughs> um, so it's answering my own question. It looks like this part just to move the past to the other one. I used to have a downward pulse here, and it's now here. Um, the existence of the other pulse didn't affect the other one at all. And this is what we call super principle. When two waves overlap, they simply overlap. Uh, they don't affect each other. And with a fascinating wave interface, phenomenon you see is a result of this type of interference. It's a result of something very simple, something that doesn't have a lot of complicated interference. Uh, let's have it run a little bit again so that uh, you can also see that they do. Um, so then the question is, okay, what happens as they are overlapping? It happens so quickly you didn't really get to see it. So let's advance through slowly and see what happens. Right. So now they are, this downward pulse is beginning to overlap into this upward pulse. As they overlap, they, um, you can find the moment and they kind of disappear. This is where they completely overlap to each other. So I have a downward pulse that goes this way. I have upward pulse that goes this way. And imagine those are like a graphs of something and you're just adding them mathematically. Yeah. And this flat line is what you'd expect to get and, um, and that is what you get. But the waves haven't disappeared. If you let it continue to run, then it continues to run. And this downward pulse that used to be on this side now appears here. But while they were overlapping, their effects simply add. We call that superposition principle. And that's the fundamental principle that's underlying all the wave interference phenomena you see.